Bonjour, this is Piper Blush, and we are doing a dive board test. Oh yeah, sports bra versus cheap bra versus super expensive bikini. I hope you're ready for this. Let's go get a cheap bra. Ni hao, my name is Ron, and I do pool and pool accessories. I got doors that open like this, not like this. Car whose doors open like this, not like this, not like this. Ni hao, I'm Juan, Piper's pool boy. She has the meanest parties ever. Look at all this stuff. A bra, a can of Budweiser, another bra. This was an athletic woman. Oh, micro bikini. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is not even a bikini. I think it's a fishnet. <laughs> There's no fish in a pool. <laughs> and this is probably from a grandmother. It's crochet. <laughs> and I guess somebody had a pretty fun beer pong party. I'm gonna need to put a lot more chlorine in this pool. There are some secret places where women go to buy the cheap bras, the sports bras, and all of the other bras. Mm -hmm. And since I'm not a fan of bras, as you might know, well, I still know a little bit of things about bras. Why? Because I'm a woman. Uh -huh. So I need to do all of these things, these womanly things. We're going to do them together. Did you know that the Tesla does exactly like the Rolls Royce? If you press the brake, it closes the door. So I'm not going to use this one because they don't bounce as much. Bonus tip, if you really want some like thing that's gonna hold everything there and it's not gonna move just like the rocks, well you better go to sports check or some type of place like this because you need to trust the Olympians. I mean the Olympians they've done it for you, just like in the Greek athletes. No, 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 no. Let's go buy a sports bra. Cheap bra versus no bra, meaning that I need to find the cheapest bra out there. So what better store than La Zenza to find it? Let's go inside. Okay, il faut trouver un rack de rabais. Correct, come the first mega cheap ever. Where are like the cheapest bra you've got? Um, we do have some on sale for $18 today. Perfect. But you know your size? Uh, 32 triple D. Pay for an additional $7.50, you get 10% off for the year, $15 off for your birthday, monthly offers. No, thank you. I got myself the cheapest bra. Now, cheap, cheap is not that cheap. It's $18 before taxes. That rounds up at about 20 bucks. But still, that is the cheapest bra they had at La Zenza. So there it is. While you're doing some vlogs, uh huh, in the actual mall, you also take this time to do some personal stuff. So there was a Walmart there. Oh, I didn't know, uh huh, and I need to buy some Tide Pods. So I'm going to get a little bit of Tide Pods. Like this. Oh, uh, tell me, we survive. During our dive for our dive board test, I've got for you the sports bra. The sports bra is the best friend of most women who do sports. I mean, you've probably seen woman volleyball, and you know that woman volleyball has the only bikini allowed as the sports uniform, and this thing is made to be robust. Look at this. Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. My name is Jörg, and I would like to take you on a strange journey to the wonderful world of rubber-based launchers. It can support anything. You can use it as a slingshot. I mean, this is the thing. We will test it on the dive board to see if it's really the best thing ever. I'm ready. Bonus tip. It's really good to hide the nipples. Why? Because it squishes them so hard that you can't see them anymore. <laughs> If you are familiar with physics, you will notice that a dive board, pony, get away, is pretty much like a trampoline. Uh huh. It has some velocity to it. So when I go back on it, it should bounce or not bounce. It all depends. Mm -hmm. So you need to be very attentive because if you're a woman, you want to know if the sports bra is really for you or if you can settle for the regular bra for your actual sports activities. Oh, good pony. Okay, I just need to take off my microphone and then I will jump in the pool to test this out. Well, it looks dark on the screen. They're not quite as dark here, but certainly heading into that night time. And
Well, it looks dark on your screen there. Not quite as dark here, but certainly heading into that night time. And this is the cheapest bra. As you can see here, it says it was $59.95, but actually, actually, I paid $20 for this bra, and that was the cheapest at La Zenza. Why La Zenza? Because I mean, it's a place where all girls get bras at one point in their life. <laughs> now, be careful. This is a quite regular bra, as you can see. 32 triple D. Mm -hmm. But it has push-ups in it. So, these push-up bras, usually, well, they have a lot more cushion in them. Meaning that you might think that your first date is like this big, but actually, no. Uh -huh. It is all magic. It's the magic of the bra. See how thick this is? Well, this is why this is actually also very good to hide nipple, but also to give you a little oomph, uh -huh, if ever you're going out or something like that. Some girls do go to the gym with this. Why? Because is bigger than a sports bra. Mm -hmm. We are gonna test this to see if it actually resists the dive board. I think this is for in case you need to save me. Bring me back to shore. Well, it looks dark on the screen. They're not quite as dark here, but certainly heading into that night time. Pony, go away. You might think this is a bra, but actually no. It looks a lot like your grandmother's bathing suit. Mm -hmm. Most bathing suits are actually sort of kind of bras. Mm -hmm. Same thing but different. So this is not lingerie. This could definitely mostly be a bathing suit. Maybe you're just gonna need to squish it uh, a little bit more when you get out of the pool. Because that is another big issue. Very big issue with bras and also with some bikinis out there. Just so you know, uh -huh, this is very educational purposes. The thing is, some bathing suits, they absorb a lot of water. And if you're already not very good at, you know, jumping and diving and actually swimming, it's gonna weigh you down. You don't want to be weighed down. So make sure you find something that is very small, very teeny weeny meeny and very sheer. That, uh, no water is gonna get into that. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Let me go take off my mic and I'll be right back. Okay, see you later. What are you doing, Piper? You're taking some things? No, this is earplugs. Mm -hmm. To make sure there's no water in my ears. Right now I'm gonna be like three days with water in my ears. And then how am I gonna be able to do more YouTube videos? Mm -hmm. So, it's important stuff, people. All right. Well, it looks dark on the screen. Not quite as dark here, but certainly heading into that night time. bikini. I actually bought it when I was in Guadeloupe mm -hmm. and then there I was in a little boutique that was actually Brazilian handmade bikinis. So these cost over 200 Canadian dollars. Oh yes and plus it's padded. Mm -hmm. Same nipple issue with YouTube. So this padding should do great. The thing is well bikinis like this you cannot find everywhere because again handmade. So make sure that you find a place near you that actually does these beautiful beautiful unique bikinis for you to try them on. Let's go and uh, give it a test. Oh. <laughs> well, it looks dark on your screen there. Not quite as dark here, but certainly heading into that night time. And you know what makes this bikini even more expensive? Is if you jump without removing your microphone. Then, oh my god, this is expensive. But this bikini is supposed to be made to actually swim in it. Now, it's a bit more fashionable. I get it, I get it. That's why I can't really 
it's difficult to put my arms higher because this has a little bit of restraint to it. Mm -hmm. Just so you are aware. So we're gonna test the jump and then I'm gonna jump and see how it goes. How does it support everything? Because there's a little thing here. Uh -huh. That's supposed to make it all come together. Ooh, they were thoughtful, these Brazilian people. Uh -huh. That sewed this bikini together. Well, it looks dark on the screen. Not quite as dark here, but certainly getting into that nighttime. one between the cheap bra, the sports bra and the actual expensive bikini did you find really handled the diving board the best? You tell me in a comment or maybe you think that it's the skinny dipping. But did you really think I was gonna show this on YouTube?